Hey guys, I hope so you all are fine. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss about how to understand the price earning ratio. So come to my Google screen and see here how to understand the price earning ratio. The price to earning ratio or PE ratio help you compare the price of a company stock to the earning the company generators. This comparisons help you understand markets are overvaluing and undervaluing a stock. The PE ratio is the key tool to help you compare the valuation in individual stock or entire stock index, such as the stock Pakistan 500. In this article, we will explore the PE ratio in depth. Learn how to calculate a PE ratio and understand how it can help you make sound investment discussion. What is the PE ratio? The PE ratio is derived by dividing the price of a stock by the stock earning. Think of it this way. The market price of the stock tell you how much people are willing to pay to own the shares but the PE ratio tell you whether the price accurately reflect the company earning potential on its value over time. If a company stock is trading at $100 per share for example and the company generate $4 per share in annual earning the PE ratio of a company stock would be 25 to put it an other way give the company current earning it would take 25 years of earning to equal the cost of the investment. In addition to stock, the PE ratio is calculated for entire stock index. For example, the PE ratio of the XNP 500 currently stand at 28.61. Since price peculiate consistently, that PE ratio of stock and stock index is never stand still. The PE ratio is also changed as companies report earning typical or the queries basis three varieties of the pe ratio while the math behind the pe ratio is straightforward price divided by earning there are many ways to affect the price or earning used to the calculation the price to earning ratio is almost most commonly calculated using the current price of a stock although one can use an average price over a set period of time. When it comes to the earning part of the calculation, however, there are three varying approaches to the PE ratio, each of which tell you different things about a stock. Trailing 12 month TTM earning. One way to calculate the PE ratio is the use a company earning over the past 12 months. This is reflected to as the trailing. PE ratio are trailing 12 month earning facing in the past earning for the benefits of using actual. And it approach is widely used in the evaluation of companies. Many financial websites such as Google Finance and Yahoo. Finance used to trailing PE ratio popular investment apps M1 Finance and Robinhood used at TTM earning as well. For example, each of sites recently report the PE ratio of Apple at about 33. Forward earning. The price of earning ratio can also be calculated using an estimate of the company futures earning. While the forward PE ratio as it's called does not benefit from report data, it has the benefits of using the best available information of how the market experts a company to perform over the coming year. Morningstar used the method which is called forward PE. Using this method, Morningstar calculates Apple PE at about 28. The Shiller's PE ratio, a third approach is to use average earning over a period of time. The most well known example of this approach is the Shiller's PE ratio, also known as the cap E ratio. The Shiller's PE is calculated by the dividing the price of the average earning over the past 10 years adjust from inflection is widely used to measure the valuation of the XNP 500 index. The Shiller's PE of the XNP 500 currently stand at the just over 30. How to use the PE ratio? The most common use of PE ratio is the valuation of a stock or index. 
द हायर द रेशो द मोर एक्सपेंसिव अ स्टॉक इज रेलिवेट टू इट्स अर्निंग द लोअर द रेशो द लेस एक्सपेंसिव द स्टॉक इन दिस वे स्टॉक एंड इक्वेलिटी मैनुअल फंड कैन बी क्लासीफाइड एज ग्रोथ और वैल्यू इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट विद एन अबव एवरेज प्राइस टू अर्निंग रेशो फॉर एग्जाम्पल माइट बी क्लासीफाइड एज द ग्रोथ इन्वेस्टमेंट एमेजॉन विद द पी ई करंटली एट अबव वन ट्वेंटी थ्री इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द ग्रोथ कंपनी एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट विद द बिलो एवरेज पी ई रेशो वुड बी क्लासीफाइड एज द वैल्यूड इन्वेस्टमेंट सिटी ग्रुप विद द प्राइस टू अर्निंग रेशो अंडर नाइन would be considered a value company the pe ratio can be used to compare to or more companies this can be useful give that company stock price in and of itself tell you nothing about companies overall valuation further comparing one company stock price with an other company stock price tell an investors nothing about their relative value of an investment pe ratio and future stock returns while the pe ratio is frequently used to measure companies values it ability to predict future returns in the matter or debit the pe ratio is not a sound indicator for a short term price movement of a stock or index there is some evidence however of an inverse between the pe ratio of the s&p 500 and future returns some studies show that an above average shiller's pe ratio suggests low stock market returns over the following 10 years a recent study found that the shiller pe was the reliable predictors of market returns between 1995 and 2020 a recent study found that the shiller pe and other pe ratio measure had little or more with future stock returns pe ratio versus earning yields the pe ratio is closely related to our earning yields where the pe ratio is calculated by dividing the price of a stock by its earning the earning yields is calculated by dividing the earning of the stock by a stock current price it express earning is percent age of a stock price The earning yield is often compared to current bond interest rate refers to by a beer earning yields ratio the ratio shows the relationship between bonds yields and earning yields some studies suggest that the it reliable indicators of stock price movements and the short terms what is the pg peg ratio the peg ratio is also related to the pe ratio in important ways calculate by dividing the pe ratio by the antiseptic growth or ratio of the stock the peg ratio evaluate the company rules basic on both in current earning and its future growth in this way some believe that the peg ratio is the more accurate measure of value than the pe ratio like the forward pe ratio however it based on future growth estimated why more if you like our video please subscribe our channel thank you so much